good morning, ladies and gentlemen, to our yeah, the next session of our web seminar Wednesday of Composites United. We have a full house today. My name is Thomas Heber, and I'm uh, proud to present you today uh, a topic of Avanco Composites. And uh, our speaker today is Matthias Heinrichs. Uh, hello, Matthias. Hello, Thomas. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Uh, Matthias is director of sales of Avanco Composites and has uh, within the Avanco group also some other hobbies. He will tell us later. And uh, Matthias, you invited today uh, to our topic uh, thermoplastic composites, a lightweight path towards sustainable aviation. I'm curious to your talk and the stage is yours. Yeah, thank you, Thomas. Um, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, pleasure to be part of the first Web Seminar Wednesday from Avanco Composites in combination with uh, Composite United. Um, yeah, it's my pleasure to talk today about um, Thermoplastics Composites, a lightweight path towards sustainable aviation. And um, yeah, within the Avanco Composites, we have a few hobbies, which uh, Thomas said already. And I would like to give you a deeper um, introduction about our possibilities and information we can share with you today. Um, a quick uh, overview of the agenda, what we have prepared today for you. So who we are, um, first of all, um, yeah, a few insights to our company. Um, what we think when we talk about sustainability, our technologies, our solutions in terms of structures for secondary and primary structures for future aircrafts, um, some other applications which could be suitable for aviation and space industries, and then the overall approach uh, from our Avanco composites uh, from the idea to a serious production. So my name is Matthias Heinrichs. I'm director of sales at the Avanco Composites. Um, before I started at Avanco, I was eight and a half years at the company Bosch. And it's my pleasure to be part of this uh, very nice uh, Composites community today. And yeah, uh, refer a little bit to the details um, of our Avanco Composites. So who we are, um, you see on the left-hand side, our three technologies uh, we have inside our company. We have the thermoplastics tape winding, we have the filament winding and the continuous compression molding um, in our three sites in Germany. So we are a family owned company based with the headquarter in Herford. And we have additional sites near Mannheim and at the Lake Constance in the south of Germany. In each site, we have one technology placed. And overall, we have 70 million euro turnover, 330 employees, and a yeah, very big technical team, uh, many engineers, which are taking care about our customers' request in combination with our sales. And overall, we have generated already more than 500 references in different industry segments, for sure aviation space, but also mobility, defense, um, energy, oil and gas. So there's a wide playground for us where we can integrate our composite solutions. And for sure, um, we are a German company, but we are working uh, worldwide. Uh, we have a wide uh, agent network and we are serving customers around the globe. A few more insights to our solution stack in a nutshell. Yeah, as I said already, we have uh, three sites, um, Herford as our headquarter. Uh, we have the thermoplastic tape placement where we can do, um, yeah, curved tubes, uh, thermoplastic solutions for retaining sleeves. And we have here really a, yeah, a complete flexibility in terms of geometry. And then also we can choose different raw materials to reach at the end your requested um, solution. We have near Mannheim, uh, the filament winding technology where we can do drive shafts, for example, with um, a length up to 12 meter and the diameter up to one meter. Um, also serious production is for sure possible. So we are serving the complete stack from the idea to a serious production. 
And at the Lake Constant site, we have the continuous compression molding for profiles and laminates, which uh, for sure is the focus of the today's speech, which um, can be implemented as a primary and a secondary structures in different geometries and for sure different thicknesses and lengths are possible. In addition to that, um, as you see on the, on the top in the picture, we have additional capacities for processing. So we can do milling, we can do drilling, uh, we can do additional coating within our company so we can offer the complete stack of solution from a product to maybe a final coated um, surface or joining with metal and or aluminum and stainless steel is also possible. A few insights to our company. You can see in the video right now. Excellus. We live in a world that is becoming ever more mobile and demanding. The worldwide aviation market is growing as the world grows closer together. The exponential pace of globalization will force the current number of aircrafts to double by the year 2038. At the same time, sustainability and the reduction of energy emissions are getting more important. This is why international aviation organizations intend to stabilize the CO2 emissions at 2020 levels. To achieve this goal, Thermoplastic composites will play a larger role in future aircrafts, offering a significant weight and rigidity advantage compared to other materials such as aluminum, steel, or titanium. Excellus is a pioneer and co-developed the continuous compression molding technology and invested years to achieve the aviation certifications and to prepare for cost-efficient serial production. With this knowledge, Excellus is based right at the heart of the aviation industry, the Bodensee region in the south of Germany. Here, they live their vision and passion for development, facilitating the utilization of intelligent, lightweight materials on a broader scale. Thanks to their engineering mindset, Excellus is not only co-developer, but also a leader for the CCM technology to manufacture thermoplastic composites. With state-of-the-art machinery and various quality control measurement systems, Excellus meets the highest standards and guarantees traceability at any time. This is possible with the help of their employees and their high-level expertise in the aviation industry. Excellus relies on well-developed internal structures and processes, which distinguishes them from other medium-sized players. This is greatly valued by their global partners and customers at Tier 1 and 2. In future aircraft generations, the usage of thermoplastic composites that can be installed is expected to increase by more than 100% until 2027. This will open huge potentials for Excellus to secure future markets, as well as application fields such as secondary structural parts, military fixed wings, and interior parts. Let's take this flight together. Contact Celis today. Yeah, a few insights. Uh, what are our capabilities? What is the core of our company and or let's say one focus segment inside the aviation and space? The next chapter is talking a little bit more in depth about the sustainability aspect, which is, yeah, a key word in the actual discussions and everybody is looking into it. And yeah, we are proud to be part in different um, R&D projects um, inside the LUFO 6, for example. And yeah, we talk uh, for sure inside our company about weight um, or saving weight. I heard in one technical discussion last time, uh, weight is king. I found this very interesting. And uh, yeah, this sentence uh, said a lot about this topic. By saving weight, you have um, potential of re um, yeah, reducing the fuel and yeah, the capacity maybe to add additional passengers, which brings the aircraft additional money. This is for sure an additional positive aspect, which can be um, achieved by using thermoplastic structures. 
Um, an additional topic, which is um, highly relevant for us, is the topic recyclability. And yeah, what we are doing at Avanco Composites, um, for sure, we have a wide network within our supply chain uh, and talk uh, frequently to our raw material suppliers, which is which are for sure well known on the market with um, qualified materials for the aviation and space industry. And we are talking uh, with them about the possibility to recycle the materials, how to use it and bring back into, um, into the product so that we have really a full cycle and usage of the product itself. Um, by being part um, of additional um, R&D projects, uh, we get more and more profound background knowledge of how to use, for example, additional or reuse the waste um, of additional post-processing. So normally you have, when you do the drilling, um, you have yeah, waste and how you could reuse this, for example, is one additional topic for us to make the process more, um, yeah, optimal, let's say, to use the product as much as possible. And for sure, this pass needs to, uh, will be a longer, longer trip for us, but we are having the right partners and we are talking to it and we are serving you, our customers here with the, with the best support um, to reach their goals as well. Um, now, um, what I would like to share with you is uh, what are our capabilities in terms of primary and secondary structures. And this is uh, really linked to the headline of the speech today. So what are our capabilities to, to create a thermoplastic um, airplane of the future? So we can offer with you um, for sure as our customers and um, age profiles, which can be also used as a T profile, for example, as a floor beam. This is a continuous profile. Um, so length is, is based on the customer's request and the thicknesses and other geometries can be optimized based on your request as well. So we have the competence of creating not only the product, we are creating the tool by ourselves. So we have the complete know-how in-house to create the dedicated tool for your dedicated product and then bring this on the machine. Um, yeah, the next highlight is, for example, the seat rail, which can be a combination um, of a welding um, on top and a, a solid profile on the on the bottom. And here we see big potential because we have long seat rails in the airplanes and thermoplastics and our CCM profiles could be an additional benefit to it. The next product which I would highlight and I would like to point out are curved frames. Um, as you see here in the picture, we can do curved Z profiles. For sure, different geometries are also possible, not only the Z. Um, it's, it's one of our highlights, which we have prepared already in the, in the past. And yeah, we received very good feedback on that. And yeah, based on discussions we had on the previous shows in on the Aviation Forum in Hamburg and other customers' um, discussions, we see that yeah, curved profiles um, are part or interesting, interested in the market, and we would be happy to assist you. Then we talk about clips. Um, we have a wide variety of clips done, and yeah, huge experience in that. That we do stem form clips with with joggles. Um, which can be then directly connected um, in parallel to, a, for example, an omega stringer to have yeah, a direct connection between the omega stringer, the clip, and then the next omega stringer, which is part um, of the next highlight that we do um, omega stringer, um, different sizes, different thicknesses, and for sure, different lay layup setup. Um, this is overall, in the nutshell, the solution stack for sure. Um, C, C profiles, T profiles, um, different geometries when you talk about a profile 
are yeah, always part of our discussions and daily work. And in addition to that, it's not only a profile, we can also talk about the laminates. So if there are any questions in addition afterwards, feel free to raise it and we can do a more technical deep dive to the product and um, to the capabilities. Um, overall, the continuous compression molding is our core com um, competence, uh, one of the core competences at Avanco Composites. Um, it's um, at the Lake Constance site in Bermatingen. Um, we can talk or we can prepare laminates up to 720 millimeters. For sure, it's continuous. We can use different um, materials. For sure, we can always um, share a recommendation with you, but um, the other way around, um, we can also do just a build to print. And as I said, different wall thicknesses are possible. So we can do a very thin, but also a very thick laminate or profile. We have different machines at our shop floor. So uh, we are prepared um, yeah, to reach also lead times. And um, yeah, as I said, we, we support you from the first idea to a series productions, which we are also actually covering in house. Um, the properties of our continuous compression molding profiles and laminates are, are very interesting. And they are temperature resistant up to 300 um, degrees plus. Um, very, very strong. Um, you can reach high modules. The outgassing is a very important topping when you talk about the space industry. And yeah, last but not least, it's also interesting for the aviation industry. Um, the porosity is, is close to 0%, which is an additional advantage. And um, as you see, or as you saw in the video, we can also do the complete processing, not only the profile or the laminate, we can also do the step afterwards uh, till the shipment uh, to your site. So what are actual aviation and space projects we are, we are serving and we are having in our group? So we do, uh, for example, radar transparent aircraft devices, uh, which is called like a radum. Um, we do primary and secondary structures. Um, we do aircraft interior and seat parts. So uh, seat parts could be also an additional interesting topic where we can partner with you. And uh, yeah, we do satellite structures. And this is yeah more linked to the space industry, but also a very important and interesting thermoplastic topic. Other applications we can or we actually see when we talk about a future aircraft or at least maybe eVTOL, which are also linked to these discussions, are retaining sleeves, hydrogen pressure vessels, and yeah, an additional application, a drive shaft. And this, in a nutshell, gives you as our partners and customers the chance to reduce the weight of your applications for the avia um, for the aircrafts by using specialized structures um, changing from your actual design to a new design from, of a thermoplastic profile or laminate and then having extra application in, in mind where we from Avanco composite can support you on your path forward to a new product design Um, last but not least, one more time, the complete approach from our Avanco Composites. Um, we are wor working very strong with our engineering together. So our sales department and engineering department is working hand in hand with our customers and start from the first idea and design, uh, supporting the project, thinking about ideas, um, how to optimize it. Then if we said, okay, we reached a certain milestone, we can talk more about the development for sure. If, if the product is already developed and it's just a build to print for sure, then we just start the production, but we can also do the complete path together to figure out at the end, the perfect technology. 
and then uh, yeah, bring the parts to you in time to be um, available for you. That's that's it from my side in terms of of the details of how we support the aviation and space industry. Um, yeah, to to come to the next um, future airplane by using thermoplastic composites. Um, it was my pleasure to speak to you today, and yeah, feel free to reach out to me. You see, actually, the contacts from my side, and I'm happy to start the Q and A session with you and yeah, I'm curious which questions you have for us and yeah, happy to be part of this round later on. Okay, thank you very much, Matthias Heinrichs, also from us, from Composites United, uh, for the impressive overview uh, of your capabilities and abilities uh, of uh, Avanco in the field of uh, thermoplastic uh, composite solutions for future evasion. Yeah, thank you very much.